My mother used to shower every day. Now, if I don't remind her, she refuses to bathe at all. If I try to help her, or encourage her to take a bath, she argues with me and gets upset, says she's afraid of the water. What can I do? Mom, it's 8 a.m., time for your shower. Oh, I don't need it. I, I don't want one. Mom, come on, please. We've gone over this over and over. No, leave it's me been alone. Don't, week. don't touch me. Come on. It's been a week since your last one. You need one. Please, get undressed. A person with dementia will often refuse, withdraw, or fight during a bath or shower. When you're helping someone to bathe, it's important to be sensitive and tactful and to respect their dignity. Remember, washing is a personal and private activity. Bathing can be scary for patients as dementia progresses. Okay, Mom, it's noon. It's time for your spa treatment. Oh, I don't really want to go. But you love the spa. It makes you feel like a queen. Yeah, and after that, we'll go to your favorite restaurant for lunch. Well, okay, I guess. All right, good. Let's go. So first, let's start by unbuttoning your shirt. I'm going to do the top button, and then can you help? Okay. Okay. Good job, Mom. Okay, Mom, I'm going to put a little water on your toes. No, oh, test it. See if it's okay. How's that feel? Yeah, it's, it's warm. Good. Now let's wash down there. Can you do that by yourself? Yes. Great. There you go. Okay, we're almost finished. I'm going to turn the water pressure on low and fill up this cup with some water. I'm gonna stand up. You just sit right here, okay? Just lean your head back and pour a little bit of water on you. And we're gonna gently massage your hair with your favorite gardenia scented shampoo. How does that feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reassure your loved one that even though bathing is a very personal activity, you're happy to help. Ask how she feels and how she would prefer to do things. Here are some additional tips on how to help your loved one bathe. Be flexible on the time. If your loved one doesn't like to bathe in the morning, try a different time of day. If the word shower or bath causes anxiety, use a different term like spa or get clean. Make the bathroom inviting by using flameless candles, aromatherapy, or soothing music. It's important that your loved one feels safe. Install handrails and use a shower chair. Limit bathing to twice a week and give sponge baths in between. Let her know what you're about to do one step at a time and have her help as much as possible. Use a towel to drape over her to provide more privacy. If you don't have one available, consider installing a handheld shower head. Being able to aim the water can be helpful and less stressful. <laughs> 